crack so easily. The uh, hotel owner won't crack. He's a tough nut. Vietnam vet, highly decorated. He's not going to crack. Judge Cinderella will crack on the stand because they can hold her in contempt and they could put her away if she lies. They could ask for emails. They could ask about phone calls. They could crack her on the stand. Poindexter won't crack. The marshal won't crack. She'll crack. I can tell you right now, that's what I would do if I were the governor of the state of California, of, of Texas. Okay, I think I have enough strength now to listen to, to Hussein again. He's still talking. Let's hear him. Oh, he's finished? He went back to the, the important stuff, fundraising? Did he have a tie on? I didn't even want to look at him this time. No tie. He came right from the fundraising, from, from the golf and fundraising. To give it the, uh, okay, we got the whole picture. If you care to join the conversation, the phone number is 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-407-282, 855-407-282, and you'll speak to more people than you meet for the rest of your life. Are you suspicious about Justice Antonin Scalia's death? Sound off on today's Savage Nation. Sound off on today's Savage Nation. The phone number is 855-407-282. WABC, New York City, Susan, go ahead, please. Let's go to number three, Christine on KIMM Radio. Christine, welcome to the program. Hi. Two weeks ago, Hillary Clinton said that if she be got elected president, she was going to appoint Obama to the Supreme Court. Do you think that has anything to do with that? No, because Obama's already said he's going to appoint somebody. He's going to uh, nominate some cretin from Harvard, probably. Some know-nothing lunatic from Harvard. Another stooge like Sotomayor or Kagan. That's all. What if Trump was president and Sotomayor, God forbid, or Kagan were found in a hotel room uh, with a pillow over their face? God forbid, I said. And by the way, even if Scalia died from a myocardial infarction, my father died from that, where's the medical confirmation? If a person dies from natural causes, what does that even mean? What does that mean, natural causes? How do you know? You could die from natural causes under suspicious circumstances, by the way. Anyway, you want me to go on? Should I stop this or not? No. You, you want me to go on? Uh, no one's talking about it. This is all conspiracy theory. This is an embarrassment to talk radio. Why well, should be screaming about those Democrats? That's right. I should be screaming about those Democrats and those, those Republicans. That's what I should be screaming about. That's what I should be talking about. That's the important stuff, not about this. I think I need some music right now. I need some music right now. Let's have some uh, Bobby Darren, not be on the seat. I think a federal investigation is the only thing that will clear this up. That's what I wanted, a federal investigation, but there will be none because the federal government has been neutralized by, by Hussein. Now, one of the things that Hussein would like to do in the months that, that remain. Did you know what, what's on his agenda? Play the, uh, the song I'm asking for. Can't be that hard to find. What is hanging like a loose tooth? Let's see. Pending a Texas case on abortion in which the state wants the abortionist to have access to emergency medical services, abortion activists oppose it. Another Supreme Court case that's pending is a Texas case on affirmative action. Really? Another Texas case on redistricting. That's hanging there. Another Supreme Court case that's about to be heard that Scalia would have heard would be a union case challenging whether unions can require teachers to fund the union's political language, especially when the teachers disagree with the message. Another case that was pending before Scalia was found dead is a case in Obamacare Determ determining whether or not Christian employers can be forced to provide abortion pill coverage for their employees, even if it violates their religious beliefs. Do you have any idea what's at stake in this country? And now that Scalia is dead, that Hussein sees a clear putting green, you get it? Uh, Jake on WABC, go ahead, please. You're on the Savage Nation. Yes, Mike. I'm a retired police officer, NYPD. I just want to let you know, I've been on countless DOAs, and uh, as is absolutely standard operating procedures for the coroner to uh, come in and uh, examine that body. Well, I never heard of anything. Like, did you hear the judge? She couldn't pronounce the word of a heart attack. I'm convinced they're all on drugs. But well, let me just tell you, I mean, I was, I, I've been around the block, and I'm telling you, 
uh, I, for argument's sake, I've been on a uh, illegal immigrant DOA in the street, and the coroner came down and examined the body. So, hit the nail on the head once again. What do you mean? Wait, wait. You mean if if an illegal alien was found dead, they would immediately demand an investigation? Absolutely. I've, 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 if I've, a bu- if a bum if a bum was found in an SRO hotel in New York, if a bum was found dead in a hotel room, would there be an investigation? Yes. But a Supreme Court justice, no investigation, and we're supposed to believe that's normal? Absolutely. Something sticks to high heaven. You hit the nail on the head. I'm telling you, this government is corrupt as the uh, day is long. You're absolutely right. So why am I the only one in talk radio doing this? Why am I the only one doing this? It kills me that I have to be doing this. You're the only one with the nerve and the fortitude to stick up to these people. And that's why I have you on every day. Thank you for your service. I appreciate it. All right. Well, I don't know about nerve. Maybe it's plain old stupidity, stubbornness. May not be nerve. Maybe stupidity. But the thing is, somebody's got to say something at some point. We keep hearing about, oh, truth to power, truth to power, truth to power. Well, here you're listening, truth to power. So you want to condemn me? Then you're condemning what? Truth or power? What are you condemning if you condemn me? I have no right to ask why they swept this under the rug. When no one else in the country is doing it, there's one other person doing it, Alex Jones, so far as I know. And I don't even know what he's doing today. I didn't listen. His website is uh, talking about it. He had his reporter was on the show. He's got four reporters down there in the field. He's doing the job that the media used to do. So there's a few people left in the country. The only thing that could save us right now is the governor of the state of Texas to order an inquiry, number one. Number two is before the Foreign Press Association to get out of their comfort zone and fly down to Texas, Japan, China, RET, all of the foreign press bureaus must go to Texas and investigate this story. And then the people of the world will understand that there's still a chance for freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Unless that happens, and this is swept under the rug, and Hussein is allowed to railroad his nominee down the throats of the American people without opposition, then all is lost. Then all is lost. I would like to make a blanket statement to follow that about me personally, what I will do if that happens. I'm not going to say it right now. But I've made an internal decision that if Hussein is allowed to get away with this and railroad someone onto the Supreme Court, I'm, I made a personal decision about what I will be doing for the rest of my life. And I'm not going to say it right now because it hasn't happened yet. But I'm on the verge of saying something that I really never wanted to say on the show. But I'm going to say it if this happens. And I'm not going to go any further. KSFO, John, welcome to the Savage Nation. Hi. Um, Louis Farrakhan uh, once called President Obama an assassin. And uh, on a, uh, a separate point, uh, right after the 2012 election, when President Obama was being asked uh, during an interview about the uh, death of the ambassador to Libya, uh, offhandedly remarked that, kind of an unguarded comment, that... Uh, his re-election was just too important to be left to chance. So that's all I want to say about that. So I think it's worthwhile to... All I know is this. this is the, Scalia was the biggest obstacle to Obama's end-of-term agenda. That's a given fact, is it not? Yes, absolutely. Antonin Scalia was the single largest obstacle to Obama's end-of-term agenda. Right. Yeah, he's going... And that's all you have to know. That's all you have to know. That's all you have to know. Now, there's a couple of, you know, strange elements here that are going to have to be examined. For example, Scalia going to this ranch is very, very, very strange, by the way. Someone just sent me an article that mentioned that the ranch owner, Pondexter, invited Scalia and his son. At the last minute, his son could not go. He said this would indicate that there was no suicide planned. You don't take your son with you if you intend to kill yourself. And another article came out in the L.A. Times which said the son, Mr. Scalia's son, canceled at the last minute. Again, that would, that would indicate that the man was not planning suicide. That's as ludicrous as it comes to say he went there to uh, you know, kill himself. Who, who would bother doing that? Nobody does that. It's crazy to cause such a stir. A man of that caliber, if he wants to end his own life, God forbid and not, uh, not uh, cause the family any trouble. He doesn't do it that way. He's not going to go to a weird hotel somewhere in the middle of the boondocks and asphyxiate himself or whatever may have happened. 
and, and then create all of this controversy and questions surrounding it? That's not the way it would be done. I'm sorry, it's just not the way it is. So I'm think I'm thinking maybe maybe tomorrow will be something new. If I'm the only one left in the media to actually stand up truth to power, I'll keep doing it. I'm, I may get even more obstinate. I may do only this for a couple of months. I, I don't know if I can. I, I but I may. You know there are singular single stories that are worthy of discussion on a daily basis. You remember the OJ trial? There were people in the media who wouldn't let it go. They talked about it for months. Their ratings went up. You would say, "Oh, come on, stop already, move on, talk about something else." And you look, and strangely enough, the one with the crazy eyes on uh, CNBC, I think, the nut, the one who has the crazy eyes, I forget who, I, I can't remember, but you look at her eyes, you know she's a schizo. From top, the eyes immediately schizo. She did this for six months, and her ratings went up. I was shocked. Uh-oh, got to take a break. Well, we only have a minute left, and right away the press is now spinning the propaganda with stories such as Conspiracy theories spin around Scalia death as though asking a rational question about normal behavior in a case like this is now a conspiracy theory? Okay, that's the world you live in. Nothing to see here. Move along. Just move along, my friends. My friends, Justice Cinderella Guevara should be called before a grand... First, she should be investigated immediately by the governor of the state of Texas... They should convene a grand jury and ask her if she was in touch with anyone uh, after the death of Justice Scalia, who she was in touch with, what kind of communications she had. Did she speak with them by phone? Did she receive any emails? Did anyone visit her? Was she at any time prompted to say anything or come to any conclusions uh, by them? At which point the law must step in again and make a decision as to whether there is probable cause to uh, conduct a further investigation. But until that time, I remain skeptical of the cover story for the death of the last remaining obstacle to Hussein's end-term agenda. Never forget the first question an investigator asks is, is there motive for a homicide? I'll let you be the judge as to whether there was any motive for homicide in the case of Justice Scalia. Good night and God bless America. Savage.